will. Well, you will, because you're right. I know what I'm going to do. You know, I sometimes have the words in front of me, and I still forget it. <laughs> it's very strange. I can't even read. It's because I, I, I don't look at it feeling all cocky, you know. And then I don't know where I am when I, when I look down, and the first word that jumps off the, the line is like three lines later, so it completely messes me up. Join in the chant. Names of goddesses of different cultures. It's not right, sorry. Let me see, I haven't done it in a while. But it's true, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm stumbling and someone shouts out. Sometimes it's from a different song altogether. <laughs> I sang this at Toronto, in Toronto in the Mayfest one year, many years ago, in the 90s. And it's um, fantastic. I had a wonderful concert and um, full, it was full, absolutely packed full in Toronto. Wonderful. Great concert. The next night I went to see Christy Moore, who was playing and there were some empty seats. I was really pleased. <laughs> he did a fantastic show, as he always does. And I went round backstage afterwards, and we were talking. And uh, I said, I so you had a few empty seats tonight? <laughs> I did a concert yesterday, you know, and I was, like, it was absolutely heaving. I had to turn people away. And there wasn't a seat anywhere. They were in the aisles, fantastic. Oh yes, he said. Yeah, but that's a good so I can't. But I couldn't keep it up, you see, because I was singing in the Euclid Theatre, which holds about four or five hundred people. <laughs> he was singing in Convocation Hall, which holds three thousand. <laughs> but I think it's the principle, isn't it? <laughs> the principle being that I had completely sold out, so <laughs> I wonder how you're taking that. Um, <laughs> anyway, he said to me, Somebody, somebody sent me a song. Does this happen? Do you notice the uh, slip into accents? Um, do you know, I won't do it then. Um, send me a song. It's, it's about burning witches. It's, 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 it's really interesting. I don't know who it is, so they haven't said it. They sent me the tape. I said, yeah, it happens to me. I said, do people do that to me? He said, well, do you know what they might be saying? I said, yes, I think. Uh, tell me what the arrangement is. And so he told me, and he described, he described my track. So I done with John Kirkpatrick and various people in, who were then in Brass Monkey. And they maybe still are in Brass Monkey. And, uh, and, 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 and he said, oh, thank you very much. I said, yes, that's my track. So he said, oh, I'm sorry. He said, I, I didn't realize it. I said, I don't, don't worry, uh, Christy. I said, I don't buy your records either. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a story of the burning time. Attempt number three. Take three. I'm sick of this charm already. This is the start of Diana. Just on the wisdom of the earth and the peace. 